right, Sid, how did finals go? Uh, they went great. Uh, not too bad. I graduated this semester, and so it was pretty smooth sailing. Didn't have too many, so taken care of, and now we get to focus on basketball, the good stuff. You guys have been off for an extended period of time. What are you guys working on in practice? Um, I think we've been working on just getting better, like focusing on us and what we can do. I know a lot of times before games you're preparing for, for the team you're going to play and for the scouts, and so we've gotten to kind of get back on what we want to do, working on transition defense and pushing the ball and the pace that we play with has been huge. What do you expect to see uh, this weekend? Um, expect to see physical basketball, of course, uh, driving team, and so uh, we're excited. Play some defense, uh, just next level, and you'll see Lex come out there with us, and so our team is going to take a step up, so we're super excited. How excited is she to get down the court? Oh my gosh, I mean, we've been counting down. She has a countdown on her phone. Like, we're stoked. We're all, we're all excited to have her back. And so, um, yeah, it's going to make a big difference for us on the court. What goes right with you guys on the power of five teams? You've been on the other side of that plenty of times. Yeah. How nice is it to be on the opposite side of that? Oh, it's the best to be on the winning side of that for sure. Um, I think for us it was defensively. I think our intensity stepped up. I think that we executed well on offense, and I think that was huge. And so it was, it was very fun. What is it? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, what does it mean to you guys to get out to this undefeated start like this? Um, I mean, it, from the get-go, from June when we started out here, uh, we wanted to go undefeated uh, non-conference, so we've done that so far. It's one game at a time, one practice at a time, focusing on where we are, and so I think we just want to keep it rolling and keep that undefeated record. Can you talk about the confidence this team has gained from the early wins, then you go on the road and you finally win a tournament, mm -hmm. you own this, have you seen the confidence grow? Absolutely. I mean, I think momentum is uh, shifting in our direction. I think our confidence um, is definitely growing. It's getting stronger. I mean, you can just see it in the way that we're playing, the way that we're interacting, uh, the pace, the defensive plays, the shots we're hitting. Um, I think the work ethic that we put in and the work we put in since June has been showing. And so uh, we're going to continue to build that confidence and just become a better team. Oh, you can expect so much from Lexi. You're going to expect emotion, energy, excitement. You're, she's going to hit shots. She's going to rebound. She's going to work her butt off. Um, she's really fun to play with. Her basketball IQ is really high, and so um, I'm super excited to get to play with her. She's a lot of fun. How does the rotation change with, she, with her on the court? Because obviously she's going to be a big part of what you guys are doing. For sure. She's been playing the three and the four, and so we'll just see how Coach uh, wants to move with that. But um, we just want her out there on the court with us. What are you guys happy with so far this year, and what do you think you still need to, you still need to work on? Um, I think that we're, we've been taking a lot of progress on our defense. I think that that's huge uh, with our 2-3 matchup zone. I think um, we want to keep getting better at that, keep getting steals and keep confusing the offense. I think that that's a big step we wanted to take this year. Um, I think that we still need to work on our pace a little bit. I think we can get the ball out quicker after a make or whatever it is. Um, making better decisions in transition has been a big key for us. And so we're going to keep moving forward and get better every single day. Confidence, uh, I'd probably say we're at like a 10. If it was like one out of 10, we're at a 10. Uh, we have a lot of confidence in ourselves and in each other. And I can see it paying off in practice and in game. So our confidence is through the roof, honestly. I'd say everything offensively and defensively. You know, we scouted the team really hard. We made sure that we stuck to uh, the scout when it came to shutting players down. and. Uh, what we should do offensively, like rebounding and sprinting and doing things like that. So I just felt like we did a really good job of controlling that game, and that's how we got the win. When you have this extended break, what are you guys working on most in practice? During the break, uh, we're still preparing for some upcoming games. So we're going over uh, plays that we haven't ran in a while, new plays that Coach Marlene is putting in. I would say we're also going over scouts for the upcoming games and individual work. So like when we do position splits or when we do uh, individual work on our own. And then when we get in and shoot as players, like we go over like ball handling, shooting, inside and out threes, things like that. So we're just working on um, our individual games. Well, what are you happiest about your game so far? What do you think you still need to work on? Um, I'm happy about just probably my shooting. I think that's that's doing good right now. I'm still gonna improve on that. But if there's anything I can say I can improve on, I probably say my ball handling. I think I can uh, improve on that, and I'm just gonna keep working on shooting, being able to make like good passes, and being able to find my teammates and rebounding. What have you seen from Lexi that makes you so excited to play with you? Uh, I think it's an honor. You know, I I played against her when I was in high school when we would play like travel ball so I have some experience playing against her and her sister 
and I thought she always had a great inside game and outside game. She could shoot the three incredibly well. So I'm just excited to play with her and like get her the ball and have her knock down some shots for us. Um, and AAU was a little, uh, it was kind of like back and forth. Uh, but I just remember like she was just killing us from the three and she would find her, find her teammates. She was good at that and getting to the basket. But you know, we had to kind of trade some buckets when we were going up against each other, so. How's the rotation changed with her now being available and, and getting the, get the playing time in? Uh, the rotation changed, most likely that's up to Coach Marlene. I have no idea. Um, she's gonna do what's best for the team. And I totally understand. So when I'm in there, I'll do what I can. When she's in there, she's gonna do the same thing. But this is Coach Marlene's system. She's, she knows what's best for the team. So she's gonna have whoever is out there that's producing and you know whoever's out there will be out there. Overall, how would you just describe the relationships with the guards? Because obviously there's a lot of you guys. The guards? That's kind of hard. You know, when they call my name and like, they'll be like, Alexis Tucker at guard. I'm like, they're talking to me? Because you know, I play a four and a five. So uh, just to be able to play like multiple positions, I think that's really cool. And just to be playing with them and, you know, looking at CeCe, looking at Boogie, looking at, uh, Sid, all the guards, I can really learn from them. Like learn, even with ball handling, how I want to improve my ball handling, I look at them and see some of the things that they do. So uh, I just use them as like a second help, like a second aid in a sense, and to like in help me improve in, in some areas as a, as a guard. So. What are you guys seeing from Houston Baptist? What are we seeing from Houston Baptist? Uh, we haven't got our scout yet, but we've been talking about some things in practice, and we've been going over certain plays that we think we can run against them, and we know they're a fast team. They play with a lot of pace. They can shoot the ball, and they can drive, so we're just preparing for that. We have our uh, scout team members that are incredible. They show up every single day, and they work with us, and they push us really hard sometimes. You know, they're a little wild, but I love them. I really do, because if we, w if we didn't have them, I don't know where we would be, so we definitely appreciate them, because even though they're not Houston Baptist, we do certain things. They run certain plays that they run, or we run like certain things to like simulate like playing against Houston Baptist. So. What's the best and worst part about having 11 days between games? The best part is, I mean, if we have time off, but uh, well, that would probably be, that would be the best part. But I would say playing too, because I like playing. And um, the worst part would just be the time in between games. But it shouldn't be too bad this week because we have games like every other day. So that's, that's kind of good. So I'm excited for that.